<laughs> Hello, this is Jim Kinney with the Republican and MassLive.com. Doing Facebook Live from CT Rail. We're just about to leave here at, from Springfield Union Station. Uh, and we have a car full of officials from two states. Today's kind of the ceremonial first day. There's three trains over the weekend, and you can check out MassLive.com and CTReal.com for uh, all the information. So here we are in the interior of the car. Give you an idea what this looks like. It's a former NBTA car. It's German built. They bought them back in the 80s. And they use them. Well, today's the first day of the service, kind of an official day. Uh, and there's free train trips over the weekend. about how many and I'm here on the train with Nancy Creed of the uh, <laughs> Chamber of Commerce in Springfield. You and I were talking downstairs about yeah. the impact that this might have. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I think we've always had a natural um, line of commerce between Connecticut and Massachusetts, and this is just going to open it up. Um, we've already received a lot of calls from folks at the Chamber offices wanting to know when the, um, the tracks will be open, when the trains will be running. So people are excited. I personally am going to head to um, Hartford one of these nights and go out to eat, catch a yard goats game, take the train. Um, I think it's super exciting for us. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> so here we are. If you guys have any more questions, <laughs> Mike's going to uh, uh, go to Peppy's Pizza. We're getting food recommendations on MassLive.com right now. So here we are. That's a little, just to orientate you folks, we're on top of Union Station right now. That is uh, the little state house, and it's a look up the street, and we're in the car. I can give you a short tour of what this kind of looks like. So there's the other car. We're going to turn you around, and here's what the interior looks like. And we should be getting moving soon. Ladies and gentlemen, please good morning and welcome aboard the inaugural Rush Southbound CT Rail to Hartford. Please make yourselves comfortable. There's refreshments on board the train and some packs of water along the train. And we can see the southbound inaugural Rush to Hartford. Welcome aboard. So that was your all aboard announcement. <laughs> Kenny here in the, in the Republican and MassLive.com doing a Facebook Live video. We're just about to get rolling here on one of the first CT rail trips to Hartford. They're offering free trips over the weekend and then revenue service begins Monday. The state of Connecticut has high hopes for this service. Uh, they hope to have more than a million passengers. Here we are, we're getting going. Wait, do 
What are the stops? Uh, you can go to my story in the Republican and on Mass Live that has a listing of the stops. Um, and the Connecticut State Department of Transportation, their website also has a, an extensive timetable. There's one on, if you stop by Union Station, they also have timetables. The main stops are Springfield, Hartford, New Haven. Once you're in New Haven, there you go. Once you're in New Haven, you can transfer to Metro North. You can transfer to Connecticut Shoreline Service. You can transfer to other Amtrak services. Fella, as far as Washington, D.C. So here we are now, leaving Springfield. Coming up on the money shot right down Main Street. How much is the ticket? It depends on how far you're going to go. Um, but we've got all kinds of that information is online. How fast can it go? Up to 110 miles an hour in certain locations. Uh, that's the Amtrak equipment. We're on one of the CT rail trains right now, which is uh, former MBTA equipment that's been rehabbed. Uh, this can go up to 80 miles an hour. 35-minute uh, trip to Hartford, about an hour and 20 to New Haven. So now we're under I-91, if that makes any sense to figure it out. The plan, the plan at the Republican and Mass Live is to have my colleague Patrick Johnson do a shot of the train with a drone as we headed through town. So we might be doing all kinds of stuff here. You might be seeing me on two different venues. Here we are. There's a new rails. Lots of new construction. Earlier this week it was announced that they're studying east-west rail in that they're going to do a pilot program of extending this service further north to Holyoke, Northampton, and Greenfield. Oh, Parking. Uh, my colleague Fred Gore reminded me. Free parking this weekend and in, at Springfield Union Station, and the city has announced new rates. Five bucks a day, and then you can get a monthly pass if you're a commuter. So here's the train. give you a little bit of an idea as to what the inside of the coach looks like. Here is the look. 
pick up some speed, folks. At Facebook Live, man. Thank you very much. 